you are working and thank you for uh, accepting uh, to make an interview with the Voice of America. Oh, it's my pleasure. Okay. Uh, I'm Zana, a reporter of uh, Voice of America, Kurdish uh, website uh, radio in Rojava. Uh, uh, one question, uh, what brought you for uh, Rojava? I came to Rojava because for years ISIS was growing and committing genocide against the people of Syria and no one did anything about it of the major powers, NATO or any major world power. So men like me and a few others got sick and tired of no one doing anything so we decided to come do something. Uh, what did you think about Curtis and YBG before you coming here? Before I came to Rojava, I did not know much about the Kurdish culture or the YPG. Um, so it was a, it's a completely different world from America. Over here I've had nothing but love from the community and YPG. I'm, the YPG has, is the only thing protecting these people from ISIS in the area. I mean, right outside of Dedek we have a United Nations a refugee camp. And the only thing that's keeping those people safe from ISIS is the YPG. After you coming here to Rojava, what uh, what do you think now? What do you think now? What you say? What you comment about the state here now? Rojava, it, it has a really resilient people. We've been cut off from a majority of the world because of the border with Turkey being shut down, and. These people have withheld, you know, years of war, and they take care of each other. They treat me like I'm an extended family, and they treat everyone in the community the same way. Nobody can hold uh, grounds against ISIS, but YPG uh, fighting bravely uh, against ISIS. Uh, what do you comment about this? ISIS. What, is, what what the secret? ISIS took Mosul in three days, but they have not taken Kobani in over one month. And even before Allied airstrikes, we held off ISIS's attacks. So I think that YPG is very resilient. They're fighting for their homes and for their families, and they're not going to give up their homes or their families. Uh, did you actively fight on front against ISIS? Yes, uh, I fought. My, the second day I, re I arrived at my unit, I fought in Jeza. Um, the, the firefight lasted for six hours while ISIS sieged our fire base until we received armored support. I was uh, wounded, I was hit by a mortar, but I'm fine now. Just minor wounds, but I'm okay. What do you think about YBG fighters, especially the female fighters, YPG? What do you comment about this object? The YPG are extremely spirited fighters. They, like I, I said earlier, they're fighting literally for their homes, so they're not going to retreat. We fought for hours, and they were chanting for freedom for Kurdistan, and they, we drove off ISIS. Um, female fighters is especially different from American culture. Over here, men and women are treated as equals and expected to fight as equals on the battlefield. So I've seen many resilient female fighters who fought at our side in Jeza. Do you think YPG needs weapons? We could use um, more advanced weapons. We could use night vision goggles, anti-tank weapons, um, more Deutschkas, uh, and medium range weapons for against light armored vehicles it would be very helpful. Uh, do you think uh, United States America can help uh, and uh, in future uh, help with the YPG? And, uh, uh, why, uh, why, anyway, the best way uh, to uh, heal YPG with weapons? I think the best way that America could help uh, the YPG is to put special forces teams in the ground that could equip and train the YPG fighters with more advanced weapons to be able to fight back and push back ISIS. Um, like I said, night vision goggles, anti-tank weapons, things that we don't have now that they could train us in and advanced military tactics as well as information gathering so we could gather phones off of ISIS fighters and find their contacts and track them. That is many uh, media channels, uh, uh, exactly uh, Turkish channels, and government of Turkey speaking about YPG as a terrorist forces. And uh, today, uh, that's uh, uh, yesterday night, uh, uh, speaking about uh, uh, 
uh, and name it the uh, yet again and uh, why PY Day as a terrorist as terrorist uh, forces. Uh, what you comment about this? The Turkish government has shut down the border of Turkey. When the people of Kobani, specifically the civilians, tried to flee to not be massacred by ISIS, Turkey intentionally tried to have them killed by closing the border. We are protecting several refugee camps in YPG territory that if it was not for the YPG, these people would be killed. Uh, I don't know if you want to call that a terrorist, but in my opinion, those are they are heroes. Uh... That's many people and American people and um, uh, all medias of international media speaking about uh, the, why why you coming to Rojava? Um, personal uh, case, uh, personal. What what you think to 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 coming to Rojava? I'm just sick and tired of seeing so much evil being created in the world and so many innocent people suffering. No one doing anything about it for years. I. I couldn't live with it anymore, so I came here to fight. Uh, are, you, are, are, there any, uh, are there any difficult in your life here? No, I'm well taken care of. Uh, in language uh, and uh, uh, for speaking Turkish, uh, Kurdish and uh, English, what do you, what you say about this? I know only a little Kurdish, but uh, I'm in a unit that has some English speakers and some that only know a little English, but we fill the gap with body language. So what I don't know to say or they don't know to say, we try to communicate with body language. You connect with uh, your family in the uh, United States? Yes, they are very supportive of what I'm doing over here and uh, have been w wishing me the best of luck and making sure I'm safe and always ask me how I'm doing and how the people of Rojava are doing. Uh, your message for American people and the government of people? Um, just, hi everybody, you know, I came over here to uh, protect these people, like I said, that for years we let ISIS grow and did nothing about it. So it's gotten to the point because of a lack of uh, participation on our part and others. So I'm safe, I'm good to go, and me and several others are going to stay here until this fight is over with and see it through. And I thank you all for your support and your prayers. Full name and from any city in the United States? Uh, my name is Jordan Matson, and I'm from uh, Sturdivant, Wisconsin. And uh, your name with a Kurdish name? Uh, Sadar. 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 Are you learning some, money, some Kur uh, words in Kurdish? I, I, I know a few words. As? Are, uh, Spas, Rosebash, Sheabash. Uh, Nave men, Chawane, a few words. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, uh, nice no to problem. meet you. It's nice to thank meet you, you, sir.